tremendous year. Ball hit well in the center field. Might be out of here. Way back. Wilson jumps. Does he have it? Yes, he does. What, what a play, play by Mookie Wilson. Taking a home run away from Greg Brock. Oh, baby. Another reason why it's tough to play in the major leagues. The defense is fantastic. And right here, Mookie Wilson going above the fence to make a spectacular play. Oh, Mookie right back to the wall. Now, look at this leap. Boy, he's got some hang time there. Base hit. No. Hung up. Throw it back to second base to get the double play. Everybody's running off the field. That was not the third out. The liner to left was over the second out, and finally somebody remembered to get the double play at second base. Let's go back now to the end of that inning. Walling at the plate. He hits this liner, and it looks like it might sink, but it doesn't. It stays up. Everybody's running off the field. Bill Dorn, in the meantime, is way around third base, and now Mookie Wilson flips the ball into the shortstop at second base to complete the double play. Calvin Giraldi couldn't do it. And it's up to Bob Stanley. And it's up to Mookie Wilson. And the crowd is alive again. And Rick Aguilera praying that he'll get off the hook. Mookie Wilson struck out, single to right, grounded out, and then sacrificed. And that was the bunt that Gedman fielded and threw high to spike on at second base. Dale Ford just checked that ball. Rubin and now he's going out to talk to Stanley. I wonder what that's all about. Stanley throws, among other things, a palm ball. You have the tying run 90 feet away in Kevin Mitchell and the possible winning run at first in Ray Knight. And here's Mookie. Fouled off. 55,078 here at Shea, and they have really been put through the ringer. One ball, one strike. Ball two. And on deck, Howard Johnson, who had that most important at bat in the ninth inning. Out away, two and two. Mount some more with two out in the tenth. Five four Red Sox. Ray Knight at first. Kevin Mitchell at third. Two and two to Mookie Wilson. And it's going to go to the backstop. Here comes Mitchell to score the tying run. And Ray Knight is at second base.
Line drive foul. And Marty Barrett was out of position because they had Knight really picked off, but Stanley didn't see him. There it is again. You see, he just reaches for the ball. Down goes Mookie. It kind of sailed inside. And here comes Barrett in to talk to Stanley because had Mookie hit just a weak ground ball, Barrett was way out of position because they had a good chance to get Knight at second base. Can you believe this ball game at Shea? Oh, brother. So the winning run is at second base with two out, three and two to Mookie Wilson. Little roller up along first, behind the bag. It gets through Buckner. Here comes Knight, and the Mets win it. Tom Glavin has retired nine straight. hit number 1,000 for Mookie Wilson. So in the same game, Dwight Gooden records his 1,000th career strikeout. Ladies and gentlemen, throwing tonight's ceremonial first pitch, we welcome three Mets Hall of Famers who were instrumental to our team's two World Series titles. From the 1986 champions, Daryl Strawberry and Mookie Wilson, along with the man who caught the final out for the 1969 Miracle Mets, Cleon Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, Daryl Strawberry, Mookie Wilson, and Cleon Jones. <laughs> 